What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. So I've been wanting to do this video for a little while and uh, I've just never got around to do it. I ordered all this stuff, bought this stuff, had all this stuff for this scientific test we're going to be doing. And uh, I've just never got around to doing it yet. But today is going to start the day that I'm actually going to start the test. Now this is actually going to take three or four days to get done. So it's not like, you know, 30 minutes I've got the test over with. This is actually going to test something to see how it works and see what keeps your tundra beating the heat in the summertime. So let me show you what I got. First of all, I have this thermometer. And this thermometer is pretty special because it will tell me the highs and the lows. Now this has been in my house and that's probably why it's only reading 76 because it's probably like 88 here today. But um, it is climbing, but it tells me the highs and the lows. So the high is of course what it is right now, and low is 68. And I've been checking this for about a week or so, seeing how it performed. And it's been without two and a half to three degrees inside my house. It's been running from 68 to 71 inside the house. And that's probably about right. That's about where we keep the thermostat. So uh, it's fairly accurate. And I forget how accurate they said this thing was. I bought this off of Amazon, but it was really accurate according to them. But it does have this little stand right here. And what we are going to be testing are these. So I'm pretty sure everybody knows what this is. It is a sunshade. You put it in your windshield and supposedly it drops the heat in your truck by I don't know how much. Um, but it should theoretically drop the heat in your vehicle because it keeps the sun from beating inside the front windshield. Now my truck sits outside, it gets the sun beats right down through the windshield. It is what it is. That's just how my truck sits. Now it does have tinted side glasses so that will help keep it a little bit cooler, but that sun can come straight through that front windshield and you know, just beat down on the dash and everything else. And this will also help protect your dash as well because that sun don't hit it. But as you can see, this one has like little insulation bubbles in it or something like that. This is probably the most common ones you see and it was like $9 at Walmart. I didn't buy an expensive one. They had more expensive ones that had decorations on it and stuff, but this is just a test for YouTube for you guys to see what works the best. And uh, I didn't spend a lot of money on this, but I do want to show you something else I got. I got this one off Amazon and I was just planning on doing a review of this one until I opened it because I didn't know what it was going to be like. So let me show you what it is. It come in this little bitty pack. Remember that this little bitty things like that's the size of my head. Sorry for the noise, tons of trucks and cars going down this road, but it comes in this little bitty pack. Now watch this. When I take this pack off, boom. Now that's just half of it. This thing is enormous, but I do want to show you, it is just material. It does not have any kind of insulation in it or anything like that. But it does have these little flaps right here that actually tuck up inside your window to help keep out even more, you know, heat and sun. Now these sometimes don't always cover in the nooks and crannies but this one does, but this one does not have any insulation in it. So when I ordered this for the truck, cause I knew when I got the Jeep, I wouldn't be driving the truck as much. And I wanted to put something like this in here to help protect the interior and stuff like that. Um, when I got it, I thought, well, this don't have any insulation in it. Do the insulation ones work better? And that's what we're gonna be testing. I am gonna try to fit that back in the truck. I'm gonna be taking this thermometer, which is up to 82 and a half degrees now almost. And I'm gonna actually set it let me show you. Let me take you down off the, the tripod here and show you where I'm going to put you or put it. I am actually going to set this. Let me open the little kickstand here. About right here. I'm just going to set it right there. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Let me see what we're doing. That's things in the way. I'm going to set it right here. So it's going to be like right here on the little you know place right there. And that's where I'm going to leave it. So I'm just going to leave it sitting right there. And the first day, I'm not going to put anything in the windshield. And we're going to see, you know, exactly what the, how high the temperature gets in the truck. Now, I want to say something. I hope these crappy batteries work. Because I didn't have any AAAs in the house. And I didn't run out and buy any. I should have. But all I've got is the batteries that come with this. And it's going to be in some extreme heat. So if the batteries go dead, it will extend this test a little longer. But we're going to set it right there in front of the shifter on that little flat part. And uh, we're going to leave it sitting there with nothing in here. So we're going to see how hot this truck gets all day tomorrow and see what the high is. 
Then on day two, I'm gonna take this big mamma jamma right here and I'm gonna put it in the window. Now, of course, I'm gonna put it with the silver side out to help reflect the sun, but I'm gonna stick it in the front windshield and then we're gonna leave it all day and we're gonna see what the high is with the uninsulated version. On day three, we are gonna stick the insulated version up there and do the same test. We're gonna see how hot it gets with that in there. And then we're gonna compare all three temperatures and see which one is the lowest. Now, of course, I don't think the first day is gonna be the lowest because I'm not gonna have anything in here. So that's gonna be our baseline temperature. Now for the next three days, it's supposed to be up near 90 degrees here. So this is a fair comparison and a fair test. But um, if any of those days get down below 88, 89 degrees, I'll just extend it another day and see what it gets to be on that day. Uh, you know, I'm gonna try to make this as fair as possible. I'll monitor, monitor the temperatures and see how high it gets um, on like Weather Channel app or something like that so that I know it's kind of a fair comparison. And we're gonna see which one of these helps your tundra beat the heat. So um, let the testing begin and I'll see you all tomorrow. Okay, everybody, day one is in the books. Now, I have to say that I'm not shooting this on day one. I'm actually shooting this on day two because I didn't have time to shoot a video on day one, the day after I started this. A little experiment we're doing, let's say. I actually did check the thermometer. It got up to uh, right at 123 degrees. It was like 122.9, so we're just going to call that 123. Um, even yesterday, when it was a little bit cloudy, it was still 119 degrees. Now, it wasn't cloudy all day, but it was nowhere near as hot as it was, you know, the day before. It was up around 90, 91 the day before, so it actually got up to like 100 and, right at 123 degrees. We're going to call it that. So that's why you really don't want to leave a child or a dog or anything in the car and it can even get up hotter than that you know i mean it reaches temperatures of over 100 degrees here in tennessee at different periods of the year and you know that that those temperatures can get up around 130 140 degrees in a vehicle so it's very very dangerous for for dogs and you know animals of any kind um children even you know seniors don't even don't leave seniors in the car i don't know if anybody's ever done that but I'm sure somebody has somewhere. So, you know, uh, make sure you don't leave any of that stuff in the, any of those people or, or pets in the vehicle because of that. So our baseline with nothing in the windshield is 123 degrees. Now I think it's supposed to cool off a little bit uh, this week. So to make this test fair, I won't be doing another video until it reaches around 89 to 90 degrees, which is where it's at when we did the first test with nothing in the windshield. So, uh, whenever it reaches that temperature, I'll come out and check it and we'll see, you know, exactly what the temperature is with one of these two window shields, covers, whatever you want to call them, um, window visors, we in the window. Let me show you which one we're going to use first. Okay. Now the one we're going to be using first is the one I got off Amazon. that does not have any kind of insulation or anything inside it. I do want to say though, this one has these little wings on the side here that really tuck up in the corners of your windshield and don't allow any sun to actually get into the vehicle. Um, I think that's pretty cool. The other one that has like the little insulation in it, like you get from Walmart, those things will have little cracks in them and they do let sun in and stuff like this. So I do think these will actually protect your interior a little better because you can actually tuck these little wings up in there and nothing is getting inside that. So uh, let me get this thing installed and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so you can see that these little wings kind of tuck up in here. They tuck down in here really good. You can probably see it better over there. So you can see that there's literally no sun basically coming through at all um, through this windshield up here. Um, it even tucks around your mirror right here and make sure nothing. Now I do want to say, you can see how, you know, it kind of looks like a reddish hue um, that's the sun kind of, you know, coming through it a little bit. And I do not believe that the other one, you'll be able to see anything like that. So I'm really anxious to see which one of these two works better. I do like this one better simply because I think it does actually protect your interior a little better. But um, I don't know if it'll keep your car as cool as the other one will, just because you can see the red coming through of the sun right now and it's not even that sunny outside it's actually uh pretty cloudy for the most part you can see right there so when the sun really starts coming through that i'll just be curious you know how you know 
how well it actually does. Now we're leaving the, the thermometer in the same place. I set it right here. Well, I knocked it over. I set it right here in the other video and uh, I'm setting it right here in that one. You can see it's working. So uh, when it hits another like 90 degree day, we'll actually uh, come out here and do another video and see exactly just how hot or how cool this one kept it from the baseline. Okay, everybody, we're back, day two. So uh, what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna see what the temperature is with the one I got from Amazon. Now I'll go ahead and take this one out and remind y'all which one it was. You probably know because the video is gonna be spliced. So, you know, you'll probably be able to tell that right off the bat. But this is the one that does not have any kind of insulation or anything in it. Uh, and I did have the silver side out. That's how you're supposed to do it. Now I do, like I said before, this does have extra, you know, material that sticks down in the corner. So you really get the most protection as far as like keeping your sun off your dash with this one. But we're going to see how it does with the heat. Now, I can't remember. I think it was around 123 degrees. I'd have to go back and watch the video. I'm sure you all have seen that part when there was nothing in the window. Uh, it's within like a one degree of how hot it was from the first time to now, I think it was somewhere around 90 degrees when I did this first time, 90 some degrees, and it's right around the same thing now. So uh, let's see what we got. So the high is 121 and a half degrees. I think it was like 122 and a half. We lost one degree in the tundra um, with that one. I mean, that's not a huge, huge gain. I think the most you gain out of this is it keeps it off your dash. The sunlight just isn't beating down on that dash. You're still getting the heat. Um, I'll show you right here. Right here it is, 121 and a half. Uh, really not much gains there. Like I said, one degrees, one and a half degrees maybe. And now, like I said, that one does not have any um, protection at all, like any insulation inside it. And uh, so I don't know if that's gonna affect it or not because now I have a cheap one from Walmart. That's not an expensive one by no means. I got off of Amazon. It might have been $14 or something like that. I can't remember. Now the one from Walmart was literally like $8. So it's even cheaper. But let me get that one out and show you um, what it looks like and you know kind of how it goes in and what it looks like when it's in. Now if you remember when this one's in you could still see sunlight coming through it. Um, it was really really thin and I think that will have something to do with how much heat it keeps out. I don't know. But again, I think this gives you the most protection for your dash. And I'll show you why here in just a second. Okay, so here is the one that I got from Walmart. It's, you know, just an auto drive or whatever, just some cheap generic one. But it does have like the air bubble type stuff in it. It's almost like a space blankety material with the air bubbles in it. And uh, we're just gonna see how this one does. Now, I don't know if this will make a big difference either. I don't think it will keep as much sun off of the vehicle. This one does have the little straps here and here. The only problem I've had with these is, eventually their stuff comes out of the bottom of these. I've owned a lot of these before and it's inevitable. No matter how long my wife, no matter how long these are in your vehicle, it seems like dust or something comes out of these. Like it starts deteriorating or something and just dust particles or whatever's inside this just starts coming out. Now, what I started to say there a minute ago is my wife owns one of these and hers, she's had it for quite a while. And it's crazy because hers hasn't done that as much, but hers got so weak that when she puts it up in there, even though she puts down her sun visors, it still falls. When it gets hot, it just wilts. It won't hold its shape anymore and stuff like that. But I have had my truck in the same identical spot it was before. I've not moved anything. I've been driving the Jeep. So nothing has changed other than the fact I'm changing which one of these I put up in the, in the windshield. Okay, we've got this installed. I've pulled it and stretched it and tried to get all the wrinkles out of it and stuff that I possibly could, but um, this is just the best I can do. I pushed it as far down in the bottom as I could, and you can see there's still sunlight in the bottom of these. There's sunlight in this crack down here. There's sunlight over there. There's nothing covering this part, even though it is got some tin up there and those bubbles, but um, there's just, it just allows some sunlight into the truck, which is why I say it does not protect your dash as well as the other one did. But with this having some sort of insulation or something in it, it is already getting extremely hot. 
um, just absorbing the sun. So I do think this might work better in keeping your vehicle cooler, which is what this video is actually about in the first place. So when, uh, when we get a 90 degree day, we'll finish this video up and see which one of these two actually work better. I'll probably post links in this video to both of those. So if you want one, you can go get it. But um, we're gonna see which one of these keeps your Tundra cooler. See you in a couple days. Okay, day three. So uh, we left the Walmart one in here. Uh, I think it's right around the same temperature. I'm not exactly sure. It was about 90 degrees the first two days. Um, it got up to about 88 to 89 ish today. So it was about one degree off, not enough to make a huge difference in this really scientific test we're doing right here but um so not a not a huge difference there and this is supposed to be the hottest day we're going to have for like the next two weeks or something so i need to do this today because this is as close as what we're actually going to get so uh let's go in here and see exactly what this one got up to or actually got down to so with the walmart one just the nine dollar one our high temperature for today was 118.6 degrees. So uh, we actually dropped quite a bit. What was that? Uh, about almost three degrees? Yeah, almost almost three degrees, uh, right at three degrees from this one. So we actually dropped three degrees over this one, four and a half degrees over nothing. Um, so, you know, that tells me that this pretty much didn't do much of nothing. Not much of nothing at all. But this one from Walmart, them normal little um, silver ones, just go back there in the back and buy the cheap ones, actually knocked it down almost like four and a half, five degrees from not having one in there at all. Now four and a half to five degrees, is still 116 and a half degrees basically in this truck. And when it gets 90 degrees outside, that's still um, the reason that you should not leave children or pets in your vehicle i mean that's still crazy hot you you could very well die from being in there or something like that and that's kind of what we're showing here we kind of wanted to show the safety risk of stuff like that plus also kind of show you uh how to kind of protect the interior of your truck so if you want to do that the walmart silver special is actually the better way to go now it will still let some uh, air and sun in on the sides like I showed you in the, the, the earlier part of this video, but it will actually keep your truck way cooler than this Amazon will. Now, which one is more convenient? Of course, Amazon. Look how small this thing folds up into. You got this little bag, folds right up into it, and that's all you got. The other one just folds up, yo, and it's still like this tall. I'm not gonna take it down because I'm just gonna leave it in the truck because I don't drive this truck very often. So if it's gonna do the better job, I'm gonna leave it in it. So if you wanna keep your Tundra cool, get you one of them Walmart specials and don't spend the extra money on one of these Amazon ones. Appreciate y'all watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe for more great scientific studies like this. See you guys next time.